In this video, we're going to take a look at how to create an SVG file from a bitmap that we can then use in Fusion. But first, take a moment just to like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks. First thing to do, if you haven't done it already, is to download Inkscape. You might want to make sure that you go to www.inkscape.org and not .com because that domain doesn't exist. Uh, once you get it, download the latest version, which is 1.0, just recently released. So after installing Inkscape, just load up the bitmap that you want to convert and we'll get to work. Under Path, we're going to select Trace Bitmap. In this dialog, you can play with the settings and see how it's going to trace the bitmap. It's important to make sure that you get the right view of your bitmap in the dialog before you select OK. Once you're happy with the selection, click OK and it's going to look like nothing happened. What you can do then is select the box and move it to the right. Then what I like to do is use the path select tool and you'll see which one is actually a vector graphic because all the nodes on that path will all um, be selected and you'll be able to see that that's the one you want to keep. One trick I like to use, if you go on to the edit menu, you can scroll down and you can resize the page to the selection. What that will do is it will make the page the same size as the image that you've created. Once again, you can select the image with the path tool. Once you've done that, you can go to the path menu, drop all the way down and hit simplify. What that will do is it will reduce the number of nodes, which is good if you're doing some kind of uh, engraving. Now be careful because it will change the picture. It can be uh, significant. So you gotta look at what the outcome is. You can always hit Control Z if you wanna back up and undo that change. And for you English people, that's Control Z. Now this part's really important. When you save the file, you have to save it as a plain SVG, not the Inkscape SVG. Otherwise it won't work in Fusion. And that's it, the file's ready to be used in Fusion. I'll show you that in a minute, but first let's look at if you had a color picture, what, you, what would you do and how would you handle that in Inkscape? So the process is very similar with the color picture. What I'm gonna do is when I do the trace bitmap, instead of using single scan, I'm gonna use multiple scan and I'm gonna select color. And then you'll see how the rose is actually completely um, copied. And then we just do the same process in terms of uh, deleting the one that we don't want. Then it's a matter of just selecting the piece that we want to keep, moving it over into its own space, and then using the um, select tool just to delete the, the artifacts that are left behind. Once we've done that, we're going to do a simplify on this one as well. And then we're going to save it as a plain SVG, and then we'll take it over into Fusion. Over in Fusion, what I like to do is to model the piece of wood that I'm going to cut it into. So I just, in this case, I'm just going to rough out something 75 by 100 millimeters and then make it about five millimeters thick. Once I've done that, 
I start a new drawing, select the face of the piece of wood that I just modeled, and then insert the SVG. That gives me something to size it on because most of these things that you're doing, the size isn't critical. So I'm not worried about how exactly how big it is as long as it fits on inside that box that I've created. So once the SVG is situated and sized, you can see it's selectable. So I could actually um, cut it into that piece of wood. In fact, I'll do that with the rows just to show you what that looks like too. And there it is. And of course I can create a toolpath now to either engrave that or if I wanted to do an inlay with it or whatever I wanted to do with it, I can actually manipulate that model uh, as if I'd created it from scratch. So hopefully that helps to, to get an SVG into Fusion from a bitmap. One thing I will say is this doesn't work very well for complex bitmaps. I've done some pretty complex ones. It sends the CNC router into a tailspin, uh, hunting and pecking all over the place, and the actual engraving takes forever. So the more simplified you can make these SVGs, the better it is for the CNC, the better the outcome is going to be. If you made it this far, you're truly a superstar. Leave us a comment below just so let us know that you got to the end. And then of course the obligatory like, which is really important to me because I'm a fledgling channel and the likes are important. But equally important is for you to subscribe. If you want to see more videos, please subscribe. You'll be doing me a favor because it helps me to understand that people want to see more videos. It gives me some encouragement to do them. Thanks.